Casey Wizkid here with the first look on Windows 8.1 Update 1, released on April 8. For those of you running Windows 8 and 8.1, for example, you can go ahead and get this update. What's new? Well, let's take a look at the desktop. It boots right into it right now. No start screen. It goes straight to the desktop, bypasses the start. The start button here is the same, though. They haven't really changed anything on that one, but they did pin that store icon there on the taskbar, as you can see. Any new modern Metro apps will now have uh, the thumbnail with it running so you can have it there. Of course, you can control it by right clicking on it, which is very nice. If you right click on the taskbar and go into the taskbar properties now, you can enable viewing uh, those apps on the uh, taskbar or not, so you can control them from your desktop. And uh, should you decide to do that, it will also toggle and turn on or off the minimize option here on those modern apps. So, so keep that in mind, okay? That minimize icon can be hidden and turned on or off. The start screen, they've added a power button. So on the top right corner there, you can see the um, power button there. You can click on that. And of course, shut down, restart, sleep your computer quickly. So that's a very nice improvement. And the search, of course, has been added on there. So you can quickly search for your files, folders, and information on the web. So all in one spot there at the top. Now, when you right click on any of these tiles, so on your apps, for example, you can unpin it, pin it quickly, uninstall it, resize it, everything nicely done by just right clicking. And that's what I like to see. Those are the improvements that I want to see here. And I really like that they've done that. So good for Microsoft on that one. Now, looking at the apps, managing your apps from Windows 8 to 8.1, they did improve being able to categorize and search for the apps, which is great because there's tons of stuff here, as you can see. One of the things that uh, I like, of course, is organizing things by name. Um, so when you go by name and you click on a letter, there you've got it. Everything right there in one spot. And you can quickly access stuff by name. So that's a huge improvement for me. Now, um, when it comes to finding out what's new, well, any app that has the word new beside it in green, you know it's new. If you want to uninstall something that's old, you just right click on it and just remove it right there and then. The SkyDrive, by the way, has been renamed to OneDrive, okay? Saving your stuff on the cloud right there. If you haven't done that, I made a separate video talking about that one. Performance changes. Well, I got to say, Internet Explorer 11 got a little bit of a boost with this update. I did a Peacekeeper benchmark test, and it did increase by about 100 points, roughly. Memory usage, as you can see there, before it was using 11% of my physical memory. After the update, it used only 10%. So, you know, that's a good, good little update on performance. But overall, this is not so much about how fast it boots. It's more about the GUI changes facilitating things, making it easier for you to manage and access things on your desktop. And, you know, are you going to be upgrading? Comment below. Let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.